Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan, Aroha Nui. Well we've got a pretty settled forecast for the next few days but I have to say next week autumn arrives. It is the equinox today, Thursday. That means autumn is officially here on the astronomical calendar in the southern hemisphere and spring's arrived in the northern hemisphere. You're going to see in a few days time on these maps autumn is definitely arriving in New Zealand. The map we've got today, this is the relative humidity map as well as the uh, winds. So you can see these areas in brighter blue, that's a sign of higher humidity. That's why we're getting morning fog, the odd drizzle patch, the odd afternoon shower, and uh, a bit of morning cloud here and there. Look at Australia, great example of it around the coastal areas, but dry as a bone once you go inland. So this is the forecast for the next few days ahead. Pretty settled stuff on Friday, but look at all the little showery areas. So it may be cloudier, maybe a bit of drizzle around in the morning, and then the afternoon we may see a couple of heavier downpours. The winds are light though and it's warmer than average in both islands. Similar story on Saturday but the dry and sunny spells may be a little bit bigger across New Zealand. The winds are light and so are the uh well, the waves aren't light, but the waves aren't very big. So if you go to the beaches over the weekend, um, perhaps some good surfing conditions and uh, not too bad to, to swim around as well. Um, the waves look like they're around about a metre and fairly calm around Cook Strait and the eastern side of Auckland. So please make sure you check up the, uh, the latest Met Service marine forecast before heading out on the water. On Sunday, a couple of showers lining up in the north and a little bit of rain coming in over on the west coast. That's that Tasman Sea rain that's been out there for over a week, finally starting to come in, and that's ahead of a big autumn change which is coming on in. So on Monday, this is how it looks around New Zealand, the high slowly drifting out to the east, still holding on to the North Island just a little bit. You'll get morning drizzle patches, couple of light showers, bit of cloud around, still mostly dry and still warmer than average. In the South Island, you've got rain or showers on the west coast from that rain that's been sitting out in the Tasman for a, over a week. That finally comes on in, but the Nor'westers are picking up. So you'll notice it gets windier ahead of this big autumn low. And by the way, that's the remnants of Cyclone Trevor up there in the middle of Australia. Places like Alice Springs or nearby could be getting over a year's worth of rain in less than two days. Just think about that for a moment. Uh, and then as we go through next week, look at this, the setup here, in comes the wind and rain as that big low finally starts to move in. So a fair bit of windy, wet weather uh, moving up the country. And then finally, we end here on Wednesday, it moves into the North Island as well. So this is good news, but I have to say, these areas in the North may not get very much. Waikato needs rain, this may not be um, enough to help you out, but it will still be welcome, I'm sure. But there's another big high rolling in there, and the final feature of this map, the dark blue line, that's a sign of a cold southerly coming in. So your daytime highs in the deep south are about to drop by about 10 degrees around about the middle of next week. That is all from me. We'll update you again on Friday with the latest for the weekend. <laughs>